And now, your News 10 forecast first. Here's the live Doppler Storm Team, brought to you by Shetler Corley Motors. Welcome back, everyone. The time right now is 531 this Monday morning, and we are dealing with some scattered showers and even some rumbles of thunder here for parts of Acadiana, and we're going to continue to see scattered rain through the day. Now this morning, it's chilly to almost mild, depending on where you're at. The further south is milder. The further north is much colder. As we go through your Monday, we'll see highs approaching near 70 for everybody, and those scattered showers and storms continue as skies almost remain overcast through the entire day. It's a lot of clouds throughout the day. Hot spot two, it starts right now. Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is Pass Pot 2. Good morning, everybody, and welcome into Pass Pot 2. It is 531 on your Monday morning. I know everyone's excited for the game. Absolutely. Um, tonight, but I want to shout out, I went to the Rio Ball this weekend. Oh, Mardi Gras is officially here. I know, it was so much fun. It was it was crazier than I thought. It That's was wonderful. That's exciting. I yeah. hear Rio really throws down with them being the kickoff to everything. They so. sure, yeah. Is that the first ball you've ever been to? Um, I've been to the um, King's Ball okay. on Mardi Gras Day, covering that. Oh, okay. But I've never, it's the first one I've actually attended. Wow, you're going to have to show me some pictures I'm going to have to. It was <laughs> pretty wild, I'll say that. It was fun. <laughs> We have Mardi Gras festivities all the way into the end of February. Oh, I know. Balls I love it. Well. I love it. <laughs> Let's talk about the weather. Look at radar right now as we have a good batch of scattered storms now rolling through St. Landry, mostly going into Voiles and Rapides Parish. More scattered showers showing up just south of Lake Charles. That will be moving into uh, Jeff Davis and Acadia Parish. Everything's starting to settle down, though. Cross Allen and Evangeline after some heavier rains there. No severe weather, no flash flooding with this. It's just garden variety showers and thunderstorms. Rain chances today go back up towards that scattered level and stay right there for your entire Monday. So I have the umbrella ready to go. Nothing really to worry about here, but you may run into some scattered showers and storms this morning. Could be a little misty as well as we hit those roadways. I'll have a full forecast here in about 10 minutes. Let's toss it back to Laura for news. Thanks, Chris. We are just hours away from the college football national championship game. LSU takes on Clemson in New Orleans tonight. It's been just over two weeks since LSU demolished Oklahoma in the semifinal playoff game. But after a long season, that included six top ten wins against tough opponents. Head coach Ed Ogeron says that his team has relished their two week break to prepare in hopes of a record breaking seventh top ten win over Clemson to claim a national championship. You know, for us, we needed the rest, and uh, we gave our guys ample rest. Uh, we practiced four days. We gave them three days off, and then we went through a reg regular game week uh, of planning. So I think it's been good. It's, you know, it seems like now, right now, everybody's getting a little antsy to play. Uh, those things, uh, sometimes you got to adjust to whatever they tell you to do, so we don't blink. They tell us it's 16 days. 16 tells us 7 and 7. We just go. Now these two teams come into this game 14-0 and 8-0 and in conference play. Our news team, a sports team, will be in New Orleans for all of your coverage later today. Well, Clemson Orange and LSU Purple and Gold are popping up around the Crescent City as excitement for the national championship game grows. And with that game comes big security plans. Now on the streets, giant concrete barriers were put into place along Decatur. Behind the scenes, everyone from the NOPD to state police and federal officials are looking closely at New Orleans during the lead up to the big game tonight at the Superdome. The city is under what's known as SEER 2 status. That's short for Special Event Activity Rating. Now the FBI says there is no threat to the city or game, but with Do President Donald Trump expected to be in the dome and tens of thousands of LSU fans on the streets, the extra help is necessary. And LSU is also canceling classes today and tomorrow. Students circulated an online petition demanding the school postpone the spring semester because of the college football national championship game. Supervisors met Friday and granted the request. The spring session at LSU was scheduled to begin on today. Local businesses are preparing for tonight's big game. One store is ready to reopen immediately after the game if LSU wins to sell championship merchandise. News 10's Elise Corville reports on how you can get that merch after the game is over. All Louisiana Academy Sports and Outdoor stores are ready and geared up for Monday night's national championship game. The LSU Tigers will take on the Clemson Tigers for the 2020 National Championship game. Both teams are undefeated and ready for kickoff. 
Louisiana Academy Sports and Outdoor stores are stocked full of boxes, ready for a purple and gold victory in the Big Easy. As soon as LSU wins, uh, we I have a team of people that will be staying here in the store. So we will pull all this merchandise out to the sales floor, get it all set up as quickly as possible, and then we will reopen the store so that our customers can come in and have a good time and buy all this championship gear. For security reasons, customers should be prepared to stand in line outside, as the store will only allow a few customers in at a time. It will be limited people in the building at a time, just so it's controlled and folks can it really enjoy their shopping experience. And I'll have uh, music piped over the loudspeaker, so we can we can just dance and have a great time. If LSU is crowned national champions over Clemson Monday night in New Orleans, customers will finally get to know. What's inside all of these boxes? Reporting in Lafayette, Elise Corville, KLFY News 10. Now, Dick Sporting Goods say they will also reopen immediately following the game, pending an LSU win, and that includes the location here in Lafayette. Well, tonight's national championship game will feature two football stars from right here in Acadiana. But only one will walk away with the title since one plays for Clemson and the other LSU. News 10 sports anchor Madeline Adams has more in this morning's Beyond the Jersey. I'm just very thankful for the opportunity, man. Just can't wait to go out there and just uh, play football, play free football. I mean, just leave it all on the field for my brothers and uh, I just want to thank God for the opportunity because out of him, I wouldn't be in this position today. You can play, play from your emotions, but that isn't going to get it done. You have to play, um, you have to execute at the end of the day. And I mean, your emotions won't, won't help you with none of those things. I mean, it's definitely going to have you fired up and ready to go. But at the end of the day, you have to execute and play to the standard. I think he grew a lot last year, and then he's just taking it to another level this year. From really more, more than anything, just physically where he is, from a it's just a maturity with his body. He's just bigger, stronger. He's incredibly fast and explosive, but his understanding of the game, his knowledge of the game, his details, uh, he, the game has really slowed down for him. On Monday night, ETN will try to avoid fellow Acadiana native Tyler Shelvin, a sophomore nose tackle at LSU. The former Northside and Notre Dame standout is ready to compete for LSU's first national championship title since 2007. It's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a tough, but nothing too big that we can't handle. I mean, uh, we're all solid up front. Like, we always scream, nothing between the tackles. We block out the noise. Um, it's just another another step that we got to get over. He has really come along. He's a force. And the thing about Tyler is that he's still learning. He's still developing. But to get a guy that big and that quick is very, very odd. He's one of the most athletic linemen we've had here in the wall. ETN poured out similar praise for Shelvin. He remembers playing against him in high school. I mean, Tyler Shelvin, I, I just remember him running around on the field, just, just smacking dudes, me included. Uh, just, just a big guy. He was very fast back in high school, and I mean, he just a, explosive, uh, just wreaking havoc on every play. So, uh, I, I, I mean, not, not much has changed either. I mean, you see him on film now, just being that same dude, just being able to create plays, wreaking havoc on anyone who gets in front of him. So, I mean, it's going to be a great matchup again. A great matchup indeed. ETN and Shelvin both representing the 337 as they compete with their Tigers, vying for the national championship title tonight. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. from the Mercedes Benz Superdome, but you can watch the game on ESPN. Okay, you are taking a live look at the intersection of Evangel and Thruway and Pinhook Road. There is a stalled vehicle in the 1000 block of Turlings Drive near East Alexander Street. So just be aware of that area. It is 540. The Acadiana Music Spotlight kicking things off with local singer songwriter Dustin Gaspar. I'm Gerald Grunick. Much more coming up. And later this half hour, the Farm Service Agency joins us in studio once again for another look at what's going on in local agriculture. Hey, your current time, 540. We have some rain to track for you this morning. More scattered showers working back into the western and southwestern parts of the area. We'll track that and get a full look at the work week forecast here in a few minutes.